And touchdown. From Pistake Lake, we head back to Galt Airport for a landing on the runway. As you can see, it's still not been plowed, and it's still overcast sky, so it's going to be very flat light and very difficult to judge your height above the runway. Looks like Joe started plowing. There's a little strip across the threshold. That'll give me a point to aim at, so I do have a little bit of depth perception until I get up to that point. That's right, Joe. Move out of the way. Okay, power coming back. There's the last point of visual reference. Nose is up. A little bit of power to descend and wait for the touchdown. There's touchdown. Ski flying can be a lot of fun. It takes a little bit of effort to get into it and to uh, start, but it's well worth it. We're coming in for a landing at Galt using the short field landing technique. We're going to be just above a stall and as close to the obstructions as we can. As soon as we pass the threshold, we chop the power and let the airplane settle. Now I'm going to taxi to the far end of the uh, runway here and turn around. Now as I get near the end and need to turn, I'll go to the far right side of the runway because I need a large arc to turn. You'll notice that I give it a little bit of power and also put the elevator in the down position. That'll raise the tail, giving you a little bit tighter turning radius. And whenever you're in a confined area like this, that's very helpful. Continue to taxi back towards the takeoff zone. At this time, we're resetting the trim, checking the mags and the carburetor heat, and getting ready for takeoff. When we get to the far end, we'll swing to the right, and then use power to help us go back to the left. We won't stop to get lined up for takeoff. We'll take it on the roll. That'll make it a little bit shorter, and also with the ski plane, uh, you don't want to get the airplane stuck in the snow, so you want to keep moving as much as you can. Here we go, lined up, power on, tail just slightly off the ground, and lift off is almost immediate with this airplane. You gotta love a cub. Okay, let's watch that landing technique one more time. Lined up straight, just above a stall on the descent. Cross the threshold as low as possible. And then power off and let the airplane touch down. You're not trying to get a uh, perfect uh, feather light landing. You want to get it down as quickly as possible so that you can stop in the distance available. Ski flying has always been an enjoyable winter sport, a nice way to spend a, a winter's afternoon. And I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. And I hope you come out and try it sometime.